SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. We are previewing week 15 in the NFL. Uh, I'm Peter Loshek, and we are talking right now with Troy West from AllPlayersWin.com, who's had a very respectable, profitable year at his site, he tells me, and he's done very well recently in our videos in the NFL, coming off another winning week, 2-1 and one against the spread uh, this past week. Troy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, losing week overall at AllPlaysWin.com, but it's been a phenomenal season. Full season is what we take a ton of pride in. Mm. I encourage people to come take a look. I think we got some uh, some winners this week as well, Pete, in the SBR. All right, yeah. Well, Buffalo Jacksonville is uh, the third game that you're going to take, and this I think is my my favorite game out of the three that you've covered. Uh, it's an interesting spread, right? Jacksonville home dog of uh, two points to Buffalo, and Jacksonville's now won four out of their last five games. Still, though, they're a home dog to a team, Buffalo, which is like a team that you know got blown out by uh, by Tampa Bay last week and might have their uh, their bubble on the season has burst. Uh, so my first thought is leaning towards Jacksonville, right? Plus two. Uh, I guess it's possible that they might be a little bit complacent. That's so hard to imagine saying that, but uh, you know, after having won four out of five, it's possible. Also, the total is 42 and a half or 43, and I'm thinking that if Buffalo does bounce back, it'll probably be on offense. They had a lot of turnovers and penalties last game. If they can correct that, they'll probably have a better offensive game, and Jacksonville's offense is decent as well. So I would take a lean towards the, the over 42 and a half, but uh, I'm not sure. My two leans, Jacksonville plus two, over 42 and a half. What do you think, Troy? Yeah, I like both those plays. Mm -hmm. Being on record, I'm going to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. I really like the way Gus Bradley's got this team playing. They've, they're playing really good football. I mean, some of these wins aren't necessarily easy wins either. They're starting to play a lot better. i got to go with the Jaguars. Buffalo, as you said, Pete, I think their season really came to a halt last week. They're just not healthy. They're not clicking on offense. Their defense is now struggling. They don't play well on the road. They're a much different team at home. Back-to-back -back weekends now in Florida. I got to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. This team is really riding a high, and they, they're playing. They got a lot of pride. I mean, I think mm -hmm. the biggest thing is you look at which teams have pride down the stretch. Buffalo getting their butts kicked didn't show a whole lot. Jacksonville comes away with another W. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. They're just playing too good of football right now to be an underdog against a team that they may be just as good as. Yeah. And at home, and they're playing well, and Buffalo's not. You got to go with the Jaguars. Yeah, there's no real argument I can make against anything you're saying. The only thing I could say is, uh, you know, expect the unexpected in the NFL. But, uh, you know, have to think that Jacksonville plus two is a no-brainer given the state of the teams uh, right now. Thanks so much, Troy, taking Jacksonville plus two over Buffalo.